The HIV life cycle begins with attachment, which can only occur with certain cells like T lymphocytes or macrophages that have the CD4 receptor that can attach to the glycoprotein 120. GP120 also attaches to co-receptors like CCR5 or CXCR4, which then allow the GP41 to come down into the cell membrane and pull the entire HIV virus into the cell. Once inside, the capsid is stripped away by cellular enzymes, releasing the two RNA strands and the viral enzymes. The first enzyme, reverse transcriptase, creates a double-stranded DNA copy of the viral RNA. The DNA copy is then moved to the nucleus of the cell, where the second enzyme, integrase, facilitates integration of the DNA copy into the host DNA. The DNA copy is now called a provirus once it's part of the host DNA. Host RNA polymerase then transcribes the provirus into RNA, some of which become mRNA for the production of viral proteins and some of which serve as a genome for new viruses. The mRNA are translated by host ribosomes into polyproteins, which are then cut by the third enzyme protease into functional proteins. The new genome and the new viral enzymes come together and are surrounded by capsid proteins this whole unit embeds itself in the cell membrane and the whole thing pinches itself off to create a new virus. But before that, the membrane unites with new GP120 and GP41, which are like spikes on the cell membrane. There are three important genes in HIV that code for structural proteins. Paul codes for reverse transcriptase, protease, and integrase. GAG codes for capsid proteins. And ENV codes for GP120 and GP41. Thank you.